guys, so I haven't done a beauty haul in a while and I haven't been purchasing that many things just because, especially since it's summer, I don't really like to put on a lot of makeup even though I'm wearing kind of like a full face of makeup right now. But I have been purchasing some things here and there and I've been getting so many comments like do a haul, do a haul. And you know, I love shopping just as much as the next person. But I have been purchasing a few great products that I want to share with you. I guess I'll start off with um, some face products. Um, I actually got this in the FabFit Fun Box, which I'll post a link to down below. A lot of things in that box were actually like new favorites. Like there's this little perfume oil that I've been using a lot. You'll hear about it in my monthly favorites video. But if you don't know, it's a subscription box, and I didn't. I don't want this to be a sponsored video. But since I'm talking about the product, I figured I might as well tell you where I got it. But I've seen this at Farm and Prix, Shoppers Drug Mart, Sephora, and it's the Cover FX. SPF 30 protection primer and especially since it's summer and it's been really hot here like I got like a really good <laughs> tan today um, I've been trying to be a little bit more smarter with SPF and this primer is like really comparable to my favorite Smashbox photo finish primer it's a little bit more slick not as like full if you get what I'm saying but I've been really really loving this primer. The next thing for face that I have been loving lately is this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and this is in number 10. I honestly love this. You guys know I was really into my Laura Mercier concealer and um, the side that I used under my eyes had run out because I used it like every day. I know Italian people have like bad under eye circles and I mean Greeks and Italians have similar skin tones and Whatever, so I don't know if my dark circles are bad because of my heritage or just because I, because I get enough sleep, so I don't know why I have dark circles, but I do have pretty bad dark circles, and this is the full cover concealer. The girl at Sephora was like, oh, I wouldn't put that under your eyes, but I'm like, I don't, I, I'm not scared of it. So. Another thing that I just recently purchased is the Voluminous, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Manja um, Mascara. And I had seen this so much on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter. A lot of you guys were tweeting it and talking about it. And I was like, oh, there's no way we're going to be getting this in Montreal. But we did. I went to the pharmacy on Sunday night and I was so shocked to see this mascara. And not only was it there, it was on sale. So you know I had to pick this up in the darkest black. I think it's called Blackest Black. Because it has like more of like a natural bristle brush, not like a plastic brush. And I just find the plastic brushes work so much better on my lashes. And I've been testing this out and I feel like as it's getting a little bit more dry and a little bit more use, I'm liking it more than when it's just like fresh because when I tried it for the first time I was like really unimpressed but every every time I use it it starts to get better and better and the packaging is so cute but honestly I was thinking about this when I was doing my makeup I was like if they didn't market it as like so cute in the packaging I probably wouldn't have picked it up it would have been just like another voluminous mascara the next thing I recently picked up is the Sigma palette and it's the Paladin smoke screen and honestly the colors in this like really attracted me um, especially like the top layer but just like all these colors like I just thought it was like a really good palette for summer. Um, I've been using this literally no word of a lie. These, this shadow especially, like this one right here, I think it's called Ember. Yeah, Ember. I've been using this on my lid for like the past three weeks and I've been so obsessed with it. I haven't really dabbled into the, like the blue colors and everything yet, but I just thought this was a really nice palette for summer. It kind of reminded me of summer, like the sandy colors and the water and purple and then um, this is kind of like a beauty product not so much makeup but it's the Lilash eyelash growth system you guys know I have pretty long lashes naturally but I kind of wanted longer lashes I really wanted to get eyelash extensions I actually contacted a girl who does them but I don't know it just scared me because a lot of people said that their eyelashes fell out I am using this I did purchase two of this so I thought I would just mention in this video and then some lip products that I have talked about actually I haven't talked about the first one so I got this last weekend, actually my boyfriend bought it for me, it's the Yves Saint Laurent lip liner in number 13. You guys know how I feel about lip liner, I feel like if you take away one beauty tip from my channel it would be eyeliner, uh, eyeliner lip liner. It's pretty expensive for a lip liner, I don't find it to be the best lip liner I've ever tried. I prefer my MAC Whirl still, but um, I'm happy I have it. I'm wearing it today just with lip balm because I could not bear the idea of putting on lipstick. But, you know, gotta have my lip liner. And the last makeup product I'm going to be talking about is the Hourglass Femme Nude Lipstick in number 2. And I've talked about this in a favorites video, but I never mentioned it in a haul video. This is just a really nice nude lip color. Let's see. It's a nice nude lip color. It looks good with a tan. It doesn't look too nude like I'm like a corpse or anything. It's like a nice luxury product. 
And then the last thing I want to mention to you, since it is a summer beauty haul, this is a perfume I picked up. And it's the Mermaid Perfume. You've probably seen it on Instagram and everything. When I heard, like, Mermaid, and then I saw this, like, the packaging, which is so cute, I was like, oh, Lord, I have to have this. Because ever since I was a little girl, I've always been, like, obsessed with mermaids. When I was younger, my dad, when we were in Greece, he would go, um, like, deep sea fishing because he did it growing up, so he still does it. And when I was, like, four, we went to Greece, like, we did every summer. And he came back with this large, like, conch, conch? The, like a big shell and um, he was like oh Ariel gave this to me to give to you and I totally ate it up because I'm a four-year-old and like I thought my dad really met Ariel I just love always love mermaids and so when I like heard about this and like read the scent description I was like yeah that sounds really good so it's definitely like a summer perfume I'm gonna put it on so I haven't put on any yet today I don't really know how to describe it but there's definitely like hints of orange and citrus and coconut and it just smells like a summer but not being like coconuts and like suntan lotion which I really like because so that was my hopefully quick summer beauty haul. But for everyone asking, I will be doing a summer fashion haul very, very soon. I'm just waiting until I get a couple more pieces in the mail so I can film that. And it's going to be a try-on haul. So I hope you guys are really, really excited for that. And definitely thumbs up this video if you want more haul videos so I know kind of what kind of video videos you guys like on my channel. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for the support that I've been receiving for all my new videos. I'm having so much fun doing it again. And I'm glad you guys are like feeling that too. Um, I also just want to say that I love when you guys comment on my videos even if it's not necessarily about the video just hearing your guys comments and interacting makes it so much more worthwhile for me because it just feels like I'm not talking to a camera like it makes me feel like I'm actually talking to people I just really like it when you guys comment and I start to recognize your usernames and I get to know you a little bit more and put like a, kind of like a, a face to the name but I'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon